This is my response to the article called The Not-So-Inconvenient Truth. This article is about how we need to start doing studies for neuroscience that involves both males and females. It's important to do this because we've showed that there's sexual dimorphism in the brain and that some things can affect things differently. So whenever we do a new study, we need to know if something that we're studying is different in males and females because that could lead to different treatments for human patients whenever we're dealing with diseases and illnesses. So they call it the not so inconvenient truth because even though people complain, oh, I have to have a larger sample size, I don't have enough grant money for that, it's still more convenient in the end for us to have data for males and females so that we don't have to just guess at the effects and say that, oh, they must be the same for males and females because that has been proven to not be the case for so many things. So we need to study those things and they said that you can use different animal models like rats and songbird finches and all of these different things and you can do this and it'll better neuroscience as a whole.